Hi guys, we arrived to the next video of uh, CCNA full course 200-301. But let me, uh, before uh, starting this uh, new video, um, uh, I need to describe some uh, topics, some items uh, which I forgot in previous video, and that uh, was about uh, private IP addresses in IP version 4. What was that? That was uh, private IP addresses. In the operational mode, in, in the, if, we, uh, if we divide um, IP version 4, that, uh, 4 address based on the operational mode, there is two types of uh, operational mode of IP version 4. One public IP address and uh, the second one is private IP address. What's this? When you use public IP address, uh, your system uh, which uh, assigned um, and um, public IP address uh, on it, uh, that system is uh, accessible directly from the internet. I emphasize directly from the internet. For example, uh, I have the web server and I assign uh, public IP address on it. Uh, so uh, I can g uh, give you that public IP address in any location uh, of the world and you can use that uh, IP address for directly connecting to my web server. But if uh, I put um, a private IP address on that uh, web server, you cannot uh, using, you cannot reach directly to my web server using that uh, private IP address. You, uh, okay, you can, but uh, with um, another device, uh, but with uh, help of another device uh, such as router for translate the uh, private IP address into public IP address and connect uh, connects you to the internet. Okay, uh, so uh, this is the main key uh, about private IP address. Private IP addresses is some range uh, from all the uh, three classes from class A. Uh, the range of uh, from class A, the range of from class B, and from class C uh, that just uses for uh, your local area network for uh, making the network, for example, in your building, just uh, provide uh, network communication between computers in that local area network, not for internet. I emphasize on this uh, note. You can, uh, oh, uh, okay, you can use, you can use and you can uh, connect uh, by private IP addresses to the internet, but not directly. You need another device or translate the address, okay? Uh, what was the IP address classes? Class A was from 1001 into 126.255.255.255. Class B was 128 one, uh, what one to eight sorry zero zero one zero zero one into one twenty uh, one ninety one dot twenty uh, fifty five two hundred fifty five two hundred fifty five class C from one ninety two dot uh, zero zero one into one uh, into two two three two fifty five two fifty five two fifty five okay in each of uh, uh, these classes the range of private IP addresses in class A the range of ten zero zero one to ten two fifty five two fifty five two fifty five is private IP address in class B one seventy two dot sixteen dot zero one into 172.31.255.255 is private ad IP address and uh, in class C 192.168.01 to 192.168.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
That's it. Let's go to the lesson three of this course, continuing of full IP understand and subnetting. Why we need subnetting? This is the very, very important uh, question. We have two cases for communicating our uh, communicating and setting up our network. Case one, your system or my system only needs access to the internet, not accessible from the internet. For example, uh, my uh, host computer, my personal computer, my personal laptop, uh, I'm using it in my house. Uh, just need I uh, I sit I sit uh, I sit behind it and uh, work uh, going to the internet and work and uh, surfing the internet and so on. Okay. Case two, your system needs to be accessible from the internet. For example, you have the web server uh, installed in your uh, com in your company, your uh, corporate and uh, you need uh, that web server accessible from, from the internet that customers can uh, join uh, and access to it uh, and work uh, uh, in, with its uh, web application, okay? Case one, only access to the internet. This is uh, the layer to Cisco switch, for example, 200, uh, 2960 model which I discussed uh, a little previous in previous videos. Uh, we have two computers uh, connected to that, uh, two computers 192 with addresses 192.168. Uh, this is the private IP address from class C, okay? 192.168.01 and 02 with subnet mask uh, uh, this 24. This 24 is uh, number one bits in subnet mask. Uh, I will uh, discuss uh, more about that as soon, okay? Uh, Subnet mask uh, 3, 255, and 0. 255.255.255.0. 192.168.0.1 and uh, .2. Two. two computers connected to this switch and made uh, the local area network and uh, these uh, two computers can communicate with each other, okay? And uh, our switch connected uh, to my uh, internet service provider, local internet service provider from the uh, wireless LAN router. And uh, what, uh, this is important, what uh, happens after that, after this point? In this point, uh, sorry, in this point, uh, what, uh, what will happen? Uh, our modem uh, received, uh, received uh, public IP address, for example, in the, this slide, 172.172.10.1. Uh, my uh, modem, uh, wireless modem, and uh, the other side, 172.172.10.2 for tele telecommunication or ISP, and uh, uh, provide the connection to the telco, and from that, uh, by uh, telecommunication routers uh, to the internet, for example, IP address of 4.2.2.4. And imagine uh, my second computer ping 4.2.2.4. When, uh, when this computer starts the ping, the packets generated, uh, received, received by, the, uh, by the modem, and the modem, source, uh, modem translated the source address uh, uh, which is 192.168.02 into 172.172.10.1, it's outside uh, IP address, uh, we call network address translation. We, uh, uh, we call this uh, operation NAT and uh, packet translated uh, to the outside IP address and uh, routing and reached to the destination uh, by the telcos uh, routers uh, on the internet, which is connected to the internet, for example, to the destination of 4.2.2.4. And in this scenario, we understood that uh, don't need any uh, subnetting because uh, private IP addresses translated uh, to the uh, public IP address and received by the destination. And what about the second case? Second case, 
is your customers need to be accessible from the internet. Let's look at this uh, diagram. This is uh, my ISP, Internet Service Provider, that connected to the telcos, routers, and uh, after that, routers to the internet, router, telcos, router to the internet. Uh, we have three uh, office, we have three customers. Uh, customer one, uh, the office with 273 online servers. Uh, the second customer is a bank with 944 online servers. And the third is C port with uh, 2,793 online CCTVs for monitoring uh, around the uh, port. Okay, we have three customers. All of these three customers uh, have some uh, computers, uh, some uh, CCTV, and some servers uh, need accessible from the internet for all of their customers. Well, your IP, uh, your, uh, your uh, ISP internet pro uh, service provider, sorry, uh, pro purchased a range of valid IP address from regional IP allocator, such as RIPE, ARNIC, etc. Uh, these are uh, standard uh, IP address uh, allocator in the world, around the world, uh, and uh, give some range uh, IP addresses uh, to countries telecommunication companies uh, we are uh, i uh, received i ip uh, received the ip range from the ip allocator via countries telco for example 172.172.10.0/16 which means uh, subnet mask 255 8 number 1 bits and 8 number 1 bits each each 8 number 1 bits uh, equal 255. 255.255.0.0 means 16 one bits in subnet mask. Uh, received from the uh, telecommunication companies and need to divide uh, this address between uh, servers of three customers. Uh, to, uh, first customer, uh, 273 hosts. Uh, and the second one is 944, and the third one is 2,793 hosts of Seaport. All of hosts in three, corporate, in, in three uh, separate networks need to be accessible from the internet directly. This is the important key. But we have only one range of IP address. We just uh, we are an ISP or internet service provider. Just we have one range of IP address. But need uh, all of hosts in three separated network uh, accessible from the internet directly. Okay, what what we should do now for sol solve this problem? If you remember, a network ID or net ID uh, must be uh, same between computers to make the network and uh, communicate them uh, to each other. Well, this is a little problem. Net ID will remain the same in all customers. In all of these customers, net ID need to be same. 172, 172, 172, 172, and also for C port. Because telecommunication service receives from internet routers or BGP routing protocol. The telecommunication service route, uh, the, the telecommunication uh, company or office uh, has the router that configured uh, for routing protocol BGP for uh, negotiate and communication between uh, its router to the internet routers in uh, neighbor countries and around the world. And this IP address is, uh, pro uh, is, uh, is presented uh, by, uh, is presented for uh, all of the other routers, all of the other neighbor routers. Uh, so you cannot change uh, the uh, network ID or net ID for uh, make separate networks in uh, three separated customers. You need uh, save and uh, keep uh, the net ID same 
for all of your customers because your router and in your neighbor routers uh, 172.172 address is uh, addressed and uh, presented uh, to them for uh, if you uh, if anyone send any packet uh, into um, this address uh, they must um, uh, send packet and uh, and deliver them uh, into this ISP okay we, uh, so we cannot change this address because for this reason the second reason is te uh, telco's router configuration into ISP uh, another uh, in addition of the telco's routers uh, BGP configured uh, into uh, neighbor routers into neighbor uh, country routers telco communication also telco uh, also uh, ISP uh, router configuration is configured for receive this packets if you change the uh, the net network ID uh, uh, telecommunication routers will not have any uh, notification about changing this address and your connection will be lost between uh, your ISP and the uh, telecommunications router and the second reason is valid IPs has yearly cost if you have uh, if you want to uh, set or uh, configure another uh, network and uh, network IDs or another net ID for each of these customers uh, you will have more and more cost for uh, provide this uh, communication or this networking because the IP valid IP address or public IP addresses uh, in the internet which is accessible directly from the uh, internet has yearly cost well so this is the main question now how to resolve the problem and fix the and fix this product what products you need uh, you need separate all three your uh, your all three customers uh, network from each other but beside that you cannot change net id or network id you must separate them from each other beside the keeping net id as safe okay this is the products uh, so uh, how we can resolve this problem and fix this products first of all we need to answer these questions how many customers we have how many valid ip addresses in the network of each customer each uh, of each customer we need and new submit mask for assignable ips step one answers the above questions okay three customers we have customer one office needs 273 valid ip that could be accessible from the internet uh, the second customer is bank needs 944 valid IP addresses that that could that could be accessible from the internet and the uh, third uh, customer is seaport needs 2793 valid IPs that could be accessible from the internet first uh, the second step write down the subnet mask in binary format okay uh, i give you an important advice and guidance for you a very very key point to be able to easily solve subnetting issues and is this write down subnet masking binary format write down subnet masking binary format this is the first step for solving the problem what's uh, what's our ip address 172.172.0.0 okay this is 172.172.0.0 slash 16 uh, with subnet mask 255 255 0, 0. well SS16 means 16 uh, one numbers or one uh, or uh, 16 bits that uh, has value one eight bit dot eight one bit dot zero dot zero well in uh, binary formats maybe you know but uh, I I say this again okay in binary format one first the first one from the left means or equals to one nine uh, one uh, twenty eight value in decimal or 10 basis the second bit equals to 64 
the next is 32 the next is if if uh, all of this uh, have a uh, value of 1 the next is 16 the next is 8 the next is 4 1 1 4 2 1 the sum of these values the sum of these values will be 255 255 means this one so uh, we say 16 uh, number one bits uh, eight of them uh, the first 255 and the second uh, package of eight of them is the second 255 okay well step three counting needed bits for customers and subnet mass this is the very important and uh, and most important part for solving this uh, problem okay uh, counting need bits we need three uh, customers so two bits two bits is enough we need three customers okay these two bits uh, will uh, will give us uh, four uh, phase or four possible modes four possible modes okay this is uh, let me let me okay we uh, we have 16 bits for uh, in our uh, 16 bits uh, for uh, our um, uh, default subnet mask okay and two bits uh, will be added to this and uh, our subnet mask will be 255 255 192 uh, the first bit was uh, decimal address uh, equals to 128 and the second is 64 i said some minutes ago uh, and the sum of these uh, two items is 192 so uh, our uh, new subnet mask will be 255 255.192.0 and the uh, number of uh, bits uh, with value of 1 will be 18 bits i don't want the video to be too long so uh, we will check the continuation in the next video uh, i hope this is was uh, this was useful have a nice time and see you in the next video